Hello students, our next question. Obtain an expression for potential energy due to a collection of three point charges which are separated by a finite distance. Okay. Here in this question, we need to find the potential energy of the system of three charges. Okay. So for that, I consider a system consisting of three points. That three points are separated by a finite distance R12, R23 and R13. Okay. First of all, I am moving the charge Q1 from infinity to the point A. For that, the work done required is zero. Okay. Because there is no other charges present nearby the charge, uh, nearby the point A. Okay. So, the work done needed to bring the charge Q1 from infinity to the point A will be zero. Okay. Then next, I am moving the charge Q2 from infinity to the point B. For this, we have to apply some work. Because at point B, there will be a potential due to the charge Q1. Okay. So, we are applying some work. That is W is equal to Q2 V 1 B. Okay. Then in this system, the potential energy will be U1 is equal to 1 by 4 pi surround Q1 Q2 by R12. Okay. Then next, I am bringing the charge Q3 from infinity to the point C. Okay. Bringing the charge Q3 from infinity to the point C. For this, we need to apply some work because at that point C, there will be two potential. Potential due to the charge Q1 and potential due to the charge Q2. So, the work done to move the charge Q3 from infinity to the point C will be W is equal to Q3 uh, V1, V1C plus V2C. Okay. Then for this, the potential energy will be U2 is equal to 1 by 4 pi surround Q1 Q3 by R13 plus Q2 Q3 by R23. Okay. Then adding this potential energy and this potential energy we get the total potential energy of the system okay let me see for this i am considering the system consisting of three points okay here it is a this one is b this one is c okay a and B are separated by R12. B and C are separated by R23. And A and C are separated by R13. Okay. First of all, I am moving the charge Q1 from infinity. Okay. To the point A. Okay. For this, the work done needed by the charge to move from infinity to the point A will be 0. Because no other charges present nearby the point A. Okay. Then second one. This is first one. Then second one. I am moving. Uh, here it is fixed. Q1 is fixed at A. Then I am moving the charge Q2 from infinity to the point B. Okay. For that we have to apply some work. Because at that point B there will be a potential. Okay. So the work done in bringing the charge Q2. So the point B from infinity is Q2 potential at, at point B is V1B. V1B is a potential at B due to the charge Q1. Okay. So the potential energy will be U is equal to Q2 that is Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. The distance is R12. Okay. The next third one. Here it is Q2 is fixed. Okay. The next I am moving the charge Q3 from infinity. Okay. For that we need to apply some work. Okay. That work done that is equal to Q3. Here at the point C there will be two potential. Okay. Potential due to the charge Q1 and potential due to the charge Q2. Potential due to the charge Q1 is V1C. Okay. And the potential due to the charge Q2 is v 2 C. Okay. Then solving this, we get the energy. That is, here it is U1, it is U2. That is equal to Q3, Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. The distance is R13. Okay. Plus, this one is Q3, Q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught. That is R, the distance is 2, 3. 
okay this is a potential energy then adding this one and this one we get the potential energy this one also okay this is so one this is two this is three adding equation one equation two equation three we get the total potential energy of the system of three charges okay then we get total potential energy that is equal to zero plus q2 q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught r12 plus q3 q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught r13 plus q3 q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught r23 okay this is the total potential energy of the system of three charges get separated by a finite distance okay our next question derive an expression for electrostatic potential and energy of a dipole in a uniform electric field okay here in this question we have to find the potential energy of the dipole that is placed in a uniform electric field okay so far here i am considering a uniform electric field in that uniform electric field i am placing a dipole having two equal and opposite charges that is named as ab okay after placing the dipole it attain a torque then it will rotate and align the direction of the external electric field okay so here i am rotating the dipole from angle theta dash to theta okay so for that i am applying the torque that is equal and opposite to the torque experienced by the external electric field okay so far the work done by the external torque to rotate the dipole from theta dash to theta okay that is w is equal to interval of theta dash to theta tau external d theta okay tau external is a applied torque okay that is equal and opposite to the torque exerted by the dipole okay so we can equate this one as torque experienced by the dipole when it is placed in the external electric field okay that is tau uh, that means torque experienced by the electric field that is p vector plus e vector that is equal to p e sin theta okay on solving this we get p e sin theta then we can replace tau external as p e sin theta okay integrating this we get sin theta became <coughs> cos theta that is minus cos theta okay then solving this we get w is equal to p e cos theta dash minus cos theta okay here this work done is equal to the difference in potential energy between the angular position theta dash to theta okay then we can write u of theta is minus u of theta dash is equal to del u okay here del u is a change in potential energy okay so we can write u of theta that is minus p cos theta minus of u of theta dash that is pe cos theta dash okay if suppose i am considering the uh, reference point that is initial position of the dipole is 90 degree at that point this will be zero because cos 90 is zero then the potential energy stored in the uh, dipole based on uniform electric field will be u is equal to minus pe cos theta if suppose theta is 180 degree okay at that point it experience a maximum potential energy okay if suppose then the dipole is aligned anti parallel to the external electric field okay at that case uh, it will be zero okay the potential energy will be zero so the potential energy depends on the dipole moment external electric field and orientation of the dipole okay let me see what are the important things needed to answer the question okay first of all the question is the potential energy of the dipole in a uniform electric field okay for this we need to draw a uniform electric field first okay this is uniform electric field same direction same magnitude okay in this uniform electric field i am placing a dipole okay we know dipole is a two equal and opposite charges minus q plus q okay here the position is a this position is b okay this will experience a force in this direction this will experience a force in this direction two equal and opposite force constitute a 
कपुल देन इट विल अटेन ए टार्क ड्यू टू द टार्क इट विल रोटेट ओके दिस इज अ पर्पंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस दट इज टू ए सैन तीटा दिस इज ए दिस इज ए दिस इज टू ए का तीटा ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ आल अवर अवर वर्क इज वी नीड टू रोटेट द डोल इन दई अंग द टार्क दट इज आपोसिट टू द टार्क एक्सेटड बै द डोल ओके so we in order to give some work then what that what done is the law theta dash position to theta that is tau external tau external is the torque applied on the dipole to rotate from the angular position theta dash to theta okay d theta here we know tau external that is equal to okay magnitude of tau external is equal to magnitude of टार्क एक्सेटड बै द एक्सटर्नल रिकील ओके दट इज एक्सटर्नल दट इज ईक्वल टू पीई सैन तीटा ओके वी नो वेरी वेल दिस इज ईक्वल टू पीई सैन तीटा देन वी सब्सिट हियर देन वर्डन इज ईक्वल टू तीटा डैश तीटा टव एक्सटर्नल बिकेम पीई स्म पी ओके पीई सैन तीटा डी तीटा ओके इंटग्रेटिंग दिस पीई इज कॉन्स्टेंट then we get w is equal to pe integrating sin theta d theta over the limit theta dash to theta then what done is equal to pe minus cos theta theta dash to theta okay on solving this what done is equal to pe minus taking minus outside upper limit minus lower limit cos theta minus cos theta dash on again solving this we get um pe cos theta dash minus pe cos theta okay sorry it is cos theta here we know this work done is equal to potential energy difference between the angular position theta dash to theta okay then we can write this one as work done or this is nothing but the change in potential energy del u is equal to u of theta minus u of theta dash because it is a final position it is a initial position okay so we know u of theta that is minus pe cos theta plus this one is pe cos theta dash okay here i am considering the reference point initial position of the dipole that is theta dash is taken as 90 degree so this one became zero so the change in potential energy or the energy potential energy stored in a system of dipole placed in a electric field that is equal to minus pe cos theta okay u is equal to minus pe cos theta okay here it depends on the potential energy depends on dipole moment electric field and also orientation of the dipole that is in a electric field okay if suppose the dipole is anti parallel to the external electric field okay that is theta is equal to 180 degree then for this cos 180 is equal to minus 1 for this case the potential energy will be maximum potential energy will be maximum for this case when the theta is 180 degree that means Uh, the dipole is placed anti parallel to the external electric field for that case the potential energy experienced by the dipole is maximum okay when suppose the dipole is placed parallel to the external electric field okay that is theta is zero we know cos zero is equal to 1 we get a minimum potential energy that is minus p okay okay students you have to write in this manner for a quick recap okay thank you